This is a demonstration of atmospheric pressure. What I've got here is a, a tube and a green ping pong ball at the end of this tube. Then on either end of the tube, I have a black plastic cap, but it's, uh, it's actually hollow in the middle here, and I've pressed a piece of aluminized mylar using this cap onto the end. And what I'll do is after we uh, evacuate this tube, take the air out of it, then I'm gonna puncture this mylar here, allow air to enter this end of the tube and shoot the ping pong ball out. And according to James Coburn, who's our lecture demonstrator, they worked out by timing um, the, the amount of time it takes from, from when it leaves here to, the, to there, that its speed is about four to 500 miles per hour. The hope then will be to see uh, what its effect will be on these uh, cans on the end. So our first step is to evacuate the tube. It's been said that in ultra high vacuum, no one can hear you scream. So sound doesn't propagate very well when there's not air to propagate it. So we're pulling about 23, maybe 24 inches of mercury. To get it down to, to a full vacuum, ultra high vacuum, we need to get it up to around 29 inches of mercury. We won't get that far with, with the vacuum pump here. Okay. So I'm now going to turn to close off the tube, turn off the vacuum pump, and we're still maintaining that, uh, that vacuum. And we're gonna use a little hearing protection here. It's gonna be a little bit loud. And then I will count down five, four, three, two, one, and on zero, I'm gonna puncture this guy. Five, four, three, two, one. And as you can see, uh, here's the rem remnants of the ping pong ball and the three, that is amazing. That is really amazing. Uh, not much left of those cans. You can do a lot with atmospheric pressure.